كتاب الله دستوري كتاب الله دستوري وخير الخلق أسوتنا لسنته جلا نوري لهدي الحق أرشدنا كتاب الله دستوري وخير السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد How fast is this month of Ramadan moving? Let's reflect and think how much closer have we come to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? How much stronger has our relationship with the Quran become? How much did we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and beseech Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? These were some of the topics that we have been discussing the past few nights. Today, however, I would like to touch on a very different topic yet connected to the month of Ramadan. And that is, be generous, it is Ramadan. Generosity is especially blessed during the month of Ramadan. And there are many reasons for this. Generosity is especially blessed during the month of Ramadan. And there are many reasons for this. For one thing, Ramadan is a blessed month where the rewards for all our good deeds are multiplied beyond that. There is the fact that our generosity at this time helps those who are fasting and engaging in extra worship during the special month of Ramadan. So we see that the Ramadan has an amazing connection with generosity. And as we go along today, you will realize that how Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam practiced additional generosity during the month of Ramadan. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam has said in a hadith, if you provide some food for a fasting person, you would receive the full reward of that fasting person without decreasing in any way in your reward. This shows to you how much generosity is linked with the month of Ramadan and how much we can benefit more with our generosity in the month of Ramadan. The observance of fasting and charity at the same time is one of the ways to attain Jannah. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, In Jannah there are chambers whose walls are so transparent that their outsiders are visible from within and their insides are visible from without. A Bedouin stood up and asked, Who will these be for? And subhanallah, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, They are for those who say kind words. They are for those who provide food to the needy and poor. They are for those who observe regular fast. And they are for those who stand in prayer at night when people are asleep. There is a hadith recorded in Sunan Tirmidhi. A combination of fasting and charity is also a better way to expiate for sins, especially if it is accompanied by observing the late night prayer that is tahajjud. Fasting is a shield from sins and charity expiates for it. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said to Mu'ad ibn Jabal, should I not guide you to the means to all that is good? Fasting is a shield Charity extinguishes sinful deeds like water extinguishes fire. Then there is prayer in the depth of night. Then he recited from the Quran in Surah As-Sajdah. Listen to this verse. Reflect on this verse. What a great combination there is in this month of Ramadan. And the beautiful opportunity that Allah provides for us. 
because the month of Ramadan is a month where we are able to exhibit that which Allah encourages in this verse. Listen to this ayah, Surah Sajda, ayah number 16 and 17. تَجَافَى جُنُوبُهُمْ عَنِ الْمَضَاجِعِ يَدْعُونَ رَبَّهُمْ خَوْفًا وَطَمَعًا وَمِمَّا رَزَقْنَاهُمْ يُنْفِقُونَ فَلَا تَعْلَمُ نَفْسٌ مَا أُخْفِيَ لَهُمْ مِنْ قُرَّةِ أَعْيُنٍ جَزَاءً بِمَا كَانُوا يَعْمَلُونَ Who forsake their beds to cry unto their Lord in fear and hope and spend of what we have bestowed on them. No soul knoweth what is kept hid for them of joy as a reward for what they used to do. What did Allah say? Their sides remain apart from their beds. They call their Lord with fear and hope and spend in charity out of what we have given to them. They forsake their beds to supplicate their Lord in fear and hopefulness. How much easy is this in the month of Ramadan? that we separate from our beds at night and stand before Allah and seek Allah's forgiveness. We stand before Allah in fear and hopeful and then they spend from what we have provided them. And no soul knows what delights of the eye are kept hidden in reserve for them as a reward for what they used to do. This is another hadith in Sunan Ibn Majah. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam emphasized the importance of feeding the poor to expiate for sins by saying, protect yourselves from the fire, even if you can only do so by providing someone with the flesh of half a date. In the month of Ramadan, providing someone with dates is charity. And you are favored by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala where you gain freedom from the fire of Jahannam. Another way charity is extra blessed in Ramadan is in how it can compensate for the shortcomings in our fast. Ibn Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu would only break his fast in the company of the poor. If his family prevented him from doing so, he would not have dinner on that night. He used to give dates, sugar in charity and declare, I heard Allah say, you will not attain righteousness until you spend of that which you love. لَن تَنَالُوا الْبِرَّ حَتَّى تُنْفِقُوا مِمَّا تُحِبُّونَ You will not attain righteousness until you spend of that which you love. And whatever you spend, Allah is well aware of it. And Allah knows how I love sugar. He used to give out sugar and he said, Allah knows how much I love sugar. Imam Shafi rahimahumullah said, I prefer for a man to be extra generous in Ramadan in emulation of the example of Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and also in consideration of the people's needs. Since they are preoccupied by fasting and prayer from their livelihoods. Ibn Athir said, the greatest of deeds is to bring happiness to your fellow believer or pay off their debts or provide them with bread to eat. Some of the Prophet's companions, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the Sahaba ridwanallahi ta'ala alim ajmain said, the most beloved people to Allah are those who provide the greatest benefit to others. The most beloved of deeds with Allah is to bring happiness to a Muslim or relieve his distress or pay off his debt or dispel his hunger. It is dearer to me to walk with my fellow Muslim to fulfill a need than it is for me to observe retreat or obs to, than for me to observe a retreat in the mosque for a month. In other words, Instead of sitting for itikaf, all this that we have said is far more beneficial in this month of Ramadan. Therefore, generosity in this month of Ramadan, there is a special connection. Connection of the Quran with Ramadan, 
Connection of fasting with building Allah consciousness taqwa. Connection of dua with the month of Ramadan. And connection of being generous in the month of Ramadan. These are all means by which we gain the closeness and the nearness and the proximity of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by expiating our sins through acts of generous. Stay tuned, inshallah, when we get back, we continue with our discussion. Be generous in Ramadan. <laughs> Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. We continue with our discussion. Be generous in Ramadan. Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Those who hasten to help the widows and the poor are like those striving in Allah's path, or like those who pay who pray all night and fast all day." We see in this hadith also how Rasulullah has connected generosity with Ramadan. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam also told us, once there was a dog circling around a well, almost dead of thirst, a prostitute from the children of Bani Israel saw this. She took off her slipper and used it to draw water to give the dog. For this deed, she attained Allah's forgiveness. If a woman gives in charity from the household food without bringing about any harm, then she will receive the reward for what she has given. And her husband will receive the reward for what he had spent on it. The same applies to a trustee. In no respect does the one diminish the reward of the other. There are many forms our spending can take in Ramadan. We can pay our prescribed zakah during this month as well as giving voluntary charity. We can establish a charitable endowment during this auspicious time where the original sum is retained and invested and the profits are used in charitable causes. On an ongoing basis, another form of charity is an interest-free loan which we may help someone out of a crisis or get them on their feet. Ramadan is a good month to establish madrasas, training centers, and other beneficial institutions. It is a good time to begin sponsoring an orphan. It is a good time to make a pledge to support a charitable organization. The more enduring and lasting the act of charity is, the better. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said the best deeds are those which are observed, which constancy, even if they are small. Generosity comes in many forms. We can be generous with our wealth. We can be generous with our time. We can be generous with our knowledge and our labor. And it comes in many degrees, some greater than others. Generosity is a noble trait. And Allah loves those who possess it. It is a sign of strength and true human feeling. And it wins the hearts of people. As we said, generosity can have many forms. Some have a better or a higher degree than others. Being generous with your life. This is where a person gives his life for the protection of others. This is the greatest expression of generosity that there is. Being generous in a position of leadership. Leadership is a test. A generous leader puts the people first and strives for their welfare at all times. If the interests of the people are best served by stepping down and surrendering power to someone else, then that is what a generous leader must do. Being generous with your wealth. We work hard to earn, save and protect our wealth. When we give it to the poor, the destitute or someone who asks for charity, knowing that they did not work to earn it, we achieve a higher level of honor. Allah says, those who are saved from the 
covetousness of their souls, they are the successful ones. Being generous with your knowledge, this is also an amazing way of expressing your generosity. Being generous with your knowledge by imparting it, this is better than being generous with wealth. Knowledge is nobler than money since wealth disappears when it is used while knowledge persists. When someone asks a question, a generous answer is one which is complete and comprehensive. It is not generous to disclose only the minimum amount of information possible. Being generous with your status, this is the use of your influence to help others fulfill their needs, like when you mediate with an official or someone else's behalf. Being generous with your physical strength, the Prophet said, Charity is due upon every joint of the body for every day the sun rises. Brokering justice between two people is charity. Helping a man with his animal and lifting his luggage upon it is charity. A kind word is charity. Every step that you take towards the mosque is charity. Removing harmful things from the road is charity. These are various forms of being generous. Being generous with your honor, this is where you pardon those who infringe your honor. Rather than demanding redress, this is the charity of a pure heart. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Can't anyone of you be like Abu Damdam? The companions asked, Who is Abu Damdam? The messenger replied, when he gets up in the morning, he says, Oh Allah, I offer my honor and life to you. On account of this, he would not abuse those who abused him, nor would he wrong those who wronged him, nor hit those who hit him. Being generous by showing patience, overlooking others' wrongs, this is more rewarding for the giver than giving money. Only the best and the strongest of people are capable of it. Those who are unable to be generous with money must strive to be generous in this way, for it bears its fruit for the giver in this world and the next. Allah describes the righteous as who spend freely during ease and hardship, and who restrains anger, and who pardons the people, and Allah loves those who do good. He also says, whoever waves readdress out of charity, it is an expiation for him. Being generous through good behavior, being friendly, well-mannered and kind is a form of charity. Those who are generous in the way can attain the reward of the one who spends the day fasting and the night standing in prayer. The benefits of good manners are innumerable. None of us, not even the wealthiest, can spread their wealth among all people. However, we can all share good behavior with everyone. Being generous is something that has a tremendous link with the month of Ramadan. Generosity is one of Allah's noble attributes. One of his name is Al-Jawad, the most generous. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Allah is magnanimous and generous, and he loves those who are magnanimous and generous. He loves exemplary manners and hates bad behavior. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam informed us that Allah says, O oh my servant, if the first of you and the last of you Every human being and jinn from among you gathered together in one place and beseeched me and I gave every person what they asked for. It would not diminish what is with me and more than dipping a pin in the ocean and taking it out again diminishes the water in the ocean. Ibn Abbas tells us Allah's messenger was the most generous of people 
and he was at his most generous in Ramadan. When Jibreel met with him, he would come to him every night in Ramadan and review the Quran with him. Allah's Messenger was more generous in charity than a nurturing wind sent from the sky. The month of Ramadan is a month of the Quran. It is the month of Dua. It is a month where we build our consciousness with Allah. It is a month where we become generous. The recital of the Quran, the observance of fast, the asking Allah in our prayers and being generous are some of the special deeds that are connected to the month of Ramadan that can be a means for us to gain the nearness, the proximity of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is a means of drawing the rahmah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it is a means of expiation of our sins. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make this month of Ramadan a month where we reconnect with the Quran, a month where we reconnect with Allah through our du'as, a month where we reconnect with society by being generous. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. كتاب الله دستوري كتاب الله دستوري وخير الخلق أسوتنا بسنته جلا نوري لهدي الحق أرشدنا كتاب الله دستوري وخير الخلق أسوتنا بسنته 